Hi, this is Carol Graham with Praying for Miracles with Carol. I have a special guest on the show with me today, and her name is Star. And the story I'm going to share, especially if you are a dog lover, you are going to love it. Now, she doesn't want me holding her, so I am going to put her down. of you who have followed me and those of you who have read my book Battered Hope, you understand that it was a miniature doxy, much like Little Star that I was just holding, that changed my life, changed my career, changed my ministry. And that little miniature doxy, doxy was named Louis Vuitton, and his story has been followed and written over and over in a variety of places, magazines, etc. It's a phenomenal story and it is also here in the show notes that you can read later. What I want to share is what happened a couple weeks ago regarding STAR and how it relates to us as Christians. There are many people who are looking for and hoping for a supernatural experience. Some people even go so far as to pray for them, thinking that if they had a supernatural experience, they would really see God active in their lives, or they would be able to they, uh, hear Him better, or understand Him better, etc. But what I want to illustrate today is that God already, by His Holy Spirit, lives in us. He is in us 24-7. What greater supernatural experience can happen other than the fact that we already have Him living in us? I'm going to illustrate that, like I said, using STAR and what happened. I've been going to this particular dog groomer for her for about three years. I knew the woman was not a Christian. I've never felt prompted to talk to her about the Lord, although I did give her my book, and she certainly enjoyed that. And she has also had a very rough life with a tremendous amount of struggles that most of us couldn't even relate to, and an abusive life. And my heart always has gone out to her, but I knew that no matter what she has gone through, that God is there for her just as he is for each and every one of us. So at this particular time, I uh, dropped my little star off to the dog groomer and she was crying. And I asked her what was wrong and she said, she told me what had just happened and it was terrible and she didn't know how she was going to be able to go on. One more awful situation in her life and she didn't even want to live anymore because it was just too overwhelming. I thought about it and I felt the Lord saying to my heart that I was to go and pray about this while she did the dog, so that's fine. So I said, you know what? I'm going to come back in about an hour and a half when you're done with her and and um, then we'll talk. And so while I was gone, that's exactly what I did. I just drove to the parking lot and I just spent some time with the Lord and, and I just felt um, him saying to me that he had this situation already in his hands. And that was that. That was good. Now, I had no idea what he was about to do, not just for this woman, but also for me in showing his reality, uh, manif manifesting his reality through something that we can actually see. And I said at the top of this video, many of us look for that, but we don't need it. Who does need it is the world. The world needs to see often before they will believe, sadly, the manifestation of God, something, you know, 
really jerking them into reality as far as who God is and that he does love them. And I think that's is what happened in this case. So I went back to the groomer and, and picked up Star. And I looked at her and she was she's just a very small woman and her hands are all gnarled from arthritis. And I don't even know how she can groom dogs, even though she is the best in the town that we live. And so I just looked at her and without saying anything or addressing any of the issues that she had regarding this problem of hers, I said, I'm going to pray for you. And I took her hands in mine. And the moment that I reached out and took her hands, I was overcome with compassion. And I think many of us have been there. And I know that it was the compassion of the Lord that just was overwhelming, that he wanted so much to help her, that he loved her, just as he had compassion for uh, Lazarus and the family that was mourning. You know, Christ feels the compassion. He feels the hurt. But he is also there to bring victory in every single circumstance. Mm -hmm. So what happened is when I took her hands in mine, I prayed for three things. The first thing I prayed for was peace because she was obviously in terrible anxiety. And I thank God for his peace, which we don't even begin to understand or comprehend with our finite minds. The second thing I prayed for was that she would have favor with the courts and the people that she was dealing with and that God would grant his favor over her. And then the third thing I prayed for was I asked God to reveal his love to her in a unique and special supernatural way, and that was that. I had her hands in mine when I opened my eyes, and as soon as I opened my eyes, she fell back against the wall cupped her hands like this over her mouth and she just began to weep because the moment that I opened my eyes what happened was that entire basement suite in the darkness of the winter at the end of the day that entire suite had sunbeams going through it and they were supernatural. They were not coming from a window because there were no windows in this basement. They were coming from God. And the brightness in that room was why she fell back. It was almost overwhelming. And yet both of us began to cry, not from being overwhelmed, but because we both realized that God's presence was there in a supernatural way that I have never experienced, nor do we need to look for or hope for. As I said at the top of this video, we all are fully aware that God's spirit dwells in us, but the world doesn't have that experience. And I believe that this experience was specifically for this woman. And then she said, crying, her words, her tears are running down her cheeks and she was crying and she said these words, God loves me. God loves me. And then she, the third time she said, Jesus loves me. Now you see, it was, I had not witnessed to her. She knew I was a Christian. Like I said, she read my book, etc. I didn't pound it into her. But what happened that day, how God met her in that supernatural experience is something she will never forget. And I am so thankful to have been part of it because even though I've been a Christian my whole life, I have never been in that experience of having this brightness like this come in from the ceiling. <laughs> We know it was far beyond the ceiling. It was God's presence in a supernatural, beautiful way. You see, we have him living in us. And when we recognize that that brightness is in us, others will see it. The brightness that lives in us 
will be seen by the world. That is to me so exciting and I hope that you are jumping up and down and shouting as well as it is so exciting mm -hmm. to know that He lives in us and that brightness is in us. So I thank you for listening today. Go to my website. Many of these stories, miracle stories, are on my channel, which is prayingmiracles.com. And I look forward to sharing with you again. And thank you for subscribing and for sharing this video. Mm -hmm.